Today I'm taking you behind the scenes at my recent photo shoot for our new collection which is launching very soon. Here's my model Kelly, and I'm going with a lot of neutral colors. As you can see for the collection, it's really focused around neutrals um, and it's really going to make sure that my collection pops. For the lashes and the lip products, all of it is by me and my company, Faces Cosmetics. This is quite honestly always my favorite part now, is doing lips on my clients, my models, anyone I have the privilege of working with, because I know I get the chance to use my products, which are always gonna be my absolute favorite right now. Yes, I'm a little biased, but I'm just saying that they are so high quality, and I love the color, the pigments, the shades, everything about them. And here is Callie killing it in front of the photographer, um, she's just a born natural model, so super excited. As you can see, this is Steven. I work with him fairly often. Check him out. He's honestly one of my favorite photographers in the city. And his um, Instagram is artistlush. Um, so art is lush. I always pronounce it as one word, but it's actually art is lush. Um, and it's just um, put together. Now let me introduce you to my second model, which is Rika the Queen, aka <laughs> just Rika. Um, she is a stunning model and I'm always starting with making sure that that skin is ready. And when I say that, I mean starting from the, basically like the shoulders up, they have to be like bronze and ready. Anytime I'm on set, this is what you'll see me start with because I really want that glow and it kind of always reminds me to make sure that it translates to the skin, like the, the face um, as well. So I always like work from the bottom and then start to make sure that I see that same glow come out on the face. It's like a reminder for you, if you may. And of course, I picked up the secret of the sunscreen from Scott Barnes. It's really just that extra thing for me that kind of just makes sure that people are shining anytime I'm on set. Yeah, you can see that transformation just happened right in front of your eyes. Like you saw her without makeup to this stunning, I mean she was stunning before, but as you can see we just did a quick elevation to the look and enhance her natural features. Make sure that that natural beauty is still there, but just make sure that it's shining a little bit more. This shoe honestly went amazing. Um, I'm just finishing up some like last minute touches on Rika before she's ready to shoot as well. I had such a great system in place and I would always recommend for anyone that's launching a business, has an idea to do something, just go for it. But also make sure that you're planning things out. I mean, definitely could have used a little bit more planning for the shoot, but I think that we definitely pulled it together. I had a lot of great people willing to help me so definitely you need someone to help you on the day of, especially if you're an artist and you have the brand, right? Um, it's always good to get some help. Like last time I hired another artist with me so I wasn't doing all the makeup. This time I decided I'm just gonna cap it three models. I'm gonna focus my energy on three models. I rented a five hour studio and I just, I just went for it. I had two extra hands on deck to help me out with everything. And of course, it's during the pandemic, so you always want to make sure that you're staying as safe as possible. Wow, look at this gorgeous after shot of Rika. And now we're going on to our third model, and her name is Tamia. So we didn't actually catch the full before on this camera, but this is like midway through. I had finished some of the skin on her, going into some eyeshadow look for her. And again, it's all neutrals. It's all about the neutrals. You guys will see why I kept it neutral. Um, of course, with my collection, I really wanted uh, the neutrals to be like the whole essence of the shoot. And I actually got these, I got a lot of things from Amazon before the shoot, like these uh, lace bodysuits. 
and I just am so happy on how everything turned out. I do want to take a moment and just thank O'Shea and Emma for being such great helpers during this shoot. I couldn't have done it without you. Again, if you are not on my VIP list, you will see this everywhere I post right now. Then I don't know what you're waiting for. Get on my email list to make sure that you're the first to know about my nude collection. Alright, love you guys. Subscribe for more.